Hi everyone, this is Paris De Bono of the Fortune Teller Shop. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different in this video. We're going to look at a relationship that happened in year 1558. So 1558. So sometimes I get asked questions about, can we do readings about the past? So being a fortune teller, most of the time we're looking into the future, but sometimes we do get clients that want to know about something that happened in the past. So I thought this would be an interesting reading. So I was watching a documentary about Queen Elizabeth I, Queen of England, and she ruled in, her rule started, her reign started in 1558 and she was 25 at the time. And I want to know if she had a love affair with Robert Dudley. Now, Queen Elizabeth I was known to be the Virgin Queen. So we want to see, did Robert Dudley and Queen Elizabeth I actually have a sexual relationship or not? So I'm going to start off with the Lenormand. And these are the My Precious Lenormand deck. Okay. So this will be our Queen Elizabeth the first. And where's Robert Dudley? Let's have a look and see if we can find him. He's hiding out already, I see. There he is there. Suave Robert Dudley. All right, so we're gonna shuffle. We're gonna look at, did Robert Dudley and Queen Elizabeth the first, were they lovers and did they actually have a sexual relationship? So let's see what we get. <clears throat> Stars. Well, they were sort of star-crossed lovers. Their hopes and their dreams were cut. It's almost like whatever they wished for didn't happen. So perhaps they did wish to be lovers, but it didn't happen. Let's see, home. Oh, sorry, that's the tower. Funnily enough, they did meet in the Tower of London. I think they met in jail. They were both in prison. The tower can also be authority and it can be government. And it could be things about being a little bit walled up, and not open. So this looks like no. It's like the wishes did not happen and there was distance or, um, you know, not warmth. Something was closed, something was walled up. The key, there was a key. And Snake. Well, he was married. He did, eventually did marry someone else, another woman. Snake, traditionally in Lenormand, does mean another woman. Hmm, so did they have a sexual relationship? According to these cards, probably no. The key is a little bit sus though, because the key's a little bit like, you know, there may have been a key to the tower, but it seems like it was, it went somewhere else, didn't go, didn't go there. So I would say no from these cards. So we're gonna do some tarot and see what the tarot cards wanna say about this. Now I have my tarot cards and we're going to use the gold sky with keywords for this one. Okay. Gold sky tarot with keywords. Let's see what we get. So did Robert Dudley and Queen Elizabeth I, the Virgin Queen, did they have a sexual relationship? Let's see what we get an offer. Well, he did work for the Queen. So there was money. There was money involved. The coin, Ace of Coins usually is something to do with money, gift, uh, prosperity. It's not usually a relationship card. Okay, there's disappointment again. That seems to be a bit of a theme. So the last reading has sky. This one's got the Ten of Swords. So it's almost like an offer. Uh, prosperity was blocked or not open, say. It was a burden. It's 
too difficult. Too, too difficult for them to get together. Okay. Temperance, they were patient. Temperance is not a very sexual card. It's kind of like non-sexual. It could be about exchanging fluids, I suppose, but I'm gonna go with more the purity of the angel. And then we've got money and sort of family and home. It's not showing a sexual energy in these cards, I have to say. It actually looks quite disappointing or sad. So I, again, will say the tarot is saying no again. Okay, so I'm going to actually pull out one extra because I just feel like it needs one extra. I don't know why, but got to go with your intuition. Yeah, no. I think there was desire. The desire, it, there's a feeling in both readings in the Lenormand and these ones. There's a feeling of almost like thwarted thwarted hope or thwarted uh, wishes it's almost like their wish didn't come come true i mean they might have played around a little bit with the juggling there's two cards of like you know juggling sort of but doesn't really have a sexual vibe and then it ends on this card which is a bit traditional um if we actually read the card it actually says tradition on there government, society, imposing buildings or places and institutions. And that was the same as the tower in the last Lenormand reading. The tower card in Lenormand is different to the tower card in Tarot. The tower card in Lenormand is a bit like government, institutions, places of imposing buildings and uh, government. So. They've both got that energy of like the country became came before their own uh, carnal desires. Okay. Now I'm going to try one more deck just to see if we get any other um, uh, opinion. The first two decks seem to agree with each other. The Lenormand and the Tarot both agree. So I'm going to do some gypsy cards. These are some of the colourful gypsy cards that I created. So let's see if these, what these ones want to say about the matter. Okay, these ones are a little bit different to Lenormand, although they are a 36 card deck. So let's see what they want to tell us about. Queen Elizabeth I and Robert Dudley, did they have a sexual relationship? Money again. So the tarot was talking about money a lot. <clears throat> money and wealth. So she was obviously the queen, so she had a lot of money. Fish, plenty. She had plenty of money. The fish card usually means plenty, and we've got wealth and plenty. So Obviously, she was the queen, decked out in all those jewels. I will take this as uh, Robert Dudley. I think he was slightly older than her. Uh, that could also be... Let's just see what else we get. The boot. The boot usually means toe the line, um, forward movement, hard working. Um, it's not really a sexual card. It's more like kick to the curb, if anything. Let's see, last one. Dog. Dog is like a loyal friend. So yeah, I'm not seeing a sexual vibe in these cards at all. So I'm going to say the three decks all agree that there was not a sexual relationship. And in fact, the Queen Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth I was most likely a virgin. And if she wasn't a virgin, it wasn't with Robert Dudley that she lost her virginity, I would say. I had a quick look online to just get a picture of the Queen, Queen Elizabeth I and Robert Dudley. And I found a little note here that says, Robert Dudley and Queen Elizabeth I's great love, Robert Dudley, 1560s. Queen Elizabeth I in coronation robes, 
their relationship survived almost 50 years of trials and tribulations. And yes, the tarot cards and the Lenormand show a lot of trials and tribulations. So the cards agree with that aspect. This is Paris Devono of The Fortune Teller Shop.